Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and this time we're going to fix a problem with my Audi and that's the keyless entry has stopped working. As you guys probably know I've had this uh, car for a few months now and everything's been absolutely mint uh, but just recently it looks like the keyless entry has stopped working. Now, I think this is a kind of known issue with these cars. The water gets down at the back of the handle and it stops the sensor from picking up the fact that your hand has gone into it. So therefore, all we need to do is change the sensors. Uh, but to do that, let's get this car into the garage. So that means we're gonna have to get the Mustang out. So we're gonna shift the cars around, get the Mustang out, get the Audi in there, and let's have a look at this handle. <laughs> For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel now. I'm aiming to get to 1,000 subscribers by March. It's middle of January now. So to do that, I need you guys' help. So please, if you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button and it allows me to do bigger and better things on cars if you guys subscribe to me. And if you do like this particular video, then please give me the thumbs up. All right, let's get started. So I said earlier, I've been having some problems with my car. My car is fitted with the keyless entry, so that means just put your hand in the handle and it should unlock the doors for you. That has stopped working. Now, I've done a bit of research on this, and um, what they say is if any one of the four door sensors goes faulty, then it stops the whole system working. It just doesn't stop that one door working. Now, I've had a look with VCDS, I've plugged that in. I don't get any faults, so I don't know which handle has got the issue. I'm just gonna assume it's probably the driver's door handle because that one gets the most hammer and it probably allows most water in because you're opening and closing that handle constantly. So the fix for this is pretty straightforward and simple. All we need to do is pop the handle off and replace the sensor. Here is a sensor. So this is replacement sensor and it just fits inside the actual door handle itself. Um, I got this from eBay and it came in a two set. So there's the second one and that was £17.50 for the two. So <laughs> it's not a lot of money to actually replace them. They're obviously not Audi parts. Uh, they're probably Chinese import specials, but we'll, uh, we'll give them a go and see if they work and see if it does the job. So let's get down to it. Let's, what we're gonna do is we'll start with the driver's door handle and we'll go pop that off and replace the sensor and see whether it all starts working again. So apparently to get these handles off, they're dead easy. Uh, you just open the door and if you look, you've got this bung here. So we need to remove that bung. And then inside, we've just got a small Torx. So once that's loosened, we should now be able to remove the lock itself. So I'm going to use um, the panel removal tool so that I don't scratch the bodywork. Okay, so if you undo the Torx uh, bolt all the way and then it goes tight so you can't take it out, it won't fall out. And then you're able to pull out the door lock itself. And there we go, so that's the actual door lock. So let's put that away for safety. So that now leads us on to the handle itself. So the handle, we just need to pull it out the front bit here, or sorry, the back bit, and then we can ease it out fully like so. Just watch out for the connector. And obviously this is the connector for the actual sensor. Actually that stays in there. So press that in at the end and set. And that's handle removed. So let's take that over to the bench and we'll replace the sensor. So first thing we need to get the sensor out is to release the socket off the end and then to release this clip here as well. And to do that I found just a small screwdriver push into these holes on the side and then you can actually release the clip. Okay. So now we need to ease it out the end of the handle. So guide the wiring through. And there we have the old one. So let's just check 
it looks very similar which it does okay let's feed the new one in lift up the plug and push it all the way on like so And make sure the clips are in. Okay, let's go replace this back on the car. So dead simple, get back on the car. First of all, put the plug in place. Feed that into the hole. And pivot. So I'm now going to show you the technique of getting the door handle back on, which is very, very fiddly. But what you need is a piece of wire like this. So this is a bit of an electrical wire. And you can see that piece there, that's the actual door lock. So what you need to do is you need to hook that with your wire, like so. And then you're gonna pull it all the way out. When you've pulled it all the way, the sliding part here, that holds the lock in. So this sliding part here, what you need to do is put it all the way to that back of the car Get your screwdriver into the Torx bit that you had before, that you undid it with. Ready? Now, you need to pull this all the way so it goes into the unlock position of the door. So you pull all the way up like that. Now, with your Torx screwdriver, push against that and now you can take your wire off and it will hold that tab oh it's dropped you've got to really keep pushing take your wire off once your wire's off you can then refit the handle let go of that and the handle is then in place not easy but, but doable so once we've got the handle back in, um, what we then need to do is to just test that it does work. So let's lock the car and let's see if we can open it. Yeah, it works. Try again, lock and open. Yeah, must have been that one that was faulty then. Fantastic. So to now finish it and get the lock in, we need to make sure this part here, get some light on it for you. So this, this sliding part here, is pushed all the way towards the handle and then we just slide this back in and that goes simple like that once that's slid in all we then need to do is go to the edge of the door and tighten up the Torx and that pulls tight onto the handle input of the lock in place and then don't forget to replace the grommet that came off there and that should be it and the final test make sure it all still works unlocks locks so there we have it a nice little fix for the car there um, it's uh, pretty easy to get those handles off a little bit tricky to get them back on um, but it is manageable with a little technique that I've just showed you there so yeah hope you enjoyed that and if you did then please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also if you like this particular video please give me that thumbs up i'm aiming for that 1000 subs by march so come on guys get subscribing so thanks again for watching and until the next time stay safe